Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick wet cat food review between Frisco's Pate, I Am's Perfect Delicacies, as well as Fuzzy Cat's Premium Canned Cat Food. Normally I buy 48 or 60, 60 cans of the, premium, the Pate from Amazon or Costco. I'll leave a few links below. Also, my cats love the Fuzzy Cat uh, Premium. I also bought that from Amazon. I'll leave a few links below as well. Or you can buy it at your local pet shop. I picked up a few a case of these I Am's Perfect Delicacies from Amazon and I thought this was the reason probably why I'm going to make a review of it because it's so different from the other two. Um, 12 cans was like 30 bucks or so, so it was kind of the pricier one of all of them and it didn't seem to, well you'll see later, the value it doesn't seem to be there, but I don't know, until they change the formula or something, I, I'm just going to go over on with this review. So the first up is pretty straightforward. You get these uh, for 50 cents a can at like a 99 cent store or even online. Uh, but they're roughly 50 or so cents. You can buy a whole case in at Costco. What I'm trying out is the white tuna, um, white fish and tuna, which is pretty straightforward. But all the Frisco's pâtés look very similar. It doesn't matter which one you open, but they look very similar. So this is not, um, there's still about like a whole half a year to a year before this stuff expires. Same thing for this one. This is the tuna and anchovies from the Fussy Cat, which I thought was pretty cool. My cats love this one. So just a quick shot of uh, the can as well as, you know, the ingredients and stuff if you're interested in that. So it's a pretty hefty can. So is the, um, the pate. But this is around, I think, about 50 cents or 40 cents a piece uh, if you buy it at a pet store or if you buy it online or it's even cheaper, I think. The Iams Perfect Delicacies, I love the packaging. First off, the packaging is really good. I like how they actually use the entire packaging to basically advertise their food. When I saw the back, it was kind of hard because there's a lot of text I can't read. Um, so if you want to, there it is. There's things you want to read it. Uh, but I like how they actually put the printing of the on the bottom of it and they, they have it sort of upside down which I thought was pretty smart to me that's a pretty good use of marketing um, or branding and you know basically advertising so let's open up the pate I think everyone has bought this before for the cats because it's cheap um, it's also basically a you know a cake of pate which is basically just wet so you see there's oil and stuff so let's go ahead and open this up and it's pretty much um, a block of pate that has has oil next to it, which is cool. The cats still like it. They love eating the stuff. Um, but at the same time, it's pretty much like that. It's a block of cat food. <laughs> it's not really that, uh, not, not much. It's just basically pate. And let's spread it out a bit on the plate. And let's go ahead and scoop some of more and put some of the sauce on it so overall the oils and stuff they, they do like it which is fine and like i said i bought this is their normal everyday wet food so if you want to take it ever never opened a can of uh, pate cat food here's your view of it so overall not bad um I'm going to scrape the rest of it back over there so we can have a little bit, so we can do a little bit of smearing and stuff. But if we take a look at it, it's pretty much, um, yeah, it's pretty much cat food. It smells well, like cat food, and it's basically just pate. And you see little bits of um, fibrous or fibery stuff, or it looks, it looks kind of like something different, look like uh, fish meat, I guess. Same. So, anywho. Typical pate is all ground up and stuff. This one's the I am's perfect delicacy. It's the macro one, or it has macro fish in it, or whatever. So let's open this thing up. Oof! It's it's like it's like soup and sauce. So when I first bought the case, I was like, "Wow, it feels really light." It's because most of it looks like soup. And my cats liked it because they could lick it up, but it is like it felt that there wasn't much in it, and they were hungry afterwards. And if you look at it, it's like a, it's just like really thick, chunky soup. Um, not what I expected because I'm pretty sure my cats are pretty much hungry after this one, but they did like the sauce, and which is good. Uh, but I thought it was kind of a you know for thirty bucks for for twelve cans, I thought it was kind of pricey. 
Uh, maybe they have a lot of things mixed into this that makes it better, but I, I have no idea. I thought, you know, after the cat just licked it up really quick and came back and asked for more food. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this out right now, now on the plate so you can take a look as well. Uh, we'll do a close-up shot of some of the food a little later, but it looks like bits of... Um, I think it looks like bits of um, like pate, to be honest, like that same pate stuff, but I can't tell. There's a bunch of stuff in this. It looks just like um, like really chunky soup. So that's that's the I am's uh, delicacy one. So if I spread that out, it's basically pate spread out. But the other one, it's pretty much like you know soup. Anywho, moving on to the premium fussy cat. Pretty interesting packaging. Looks kind of weird though, but I always wonder why they have such you know. I can't even read it to be honest. So let's open this guy up too. Now the fuzzy cat, my cats love it because it's basically, you know, when they say it's filleted or fish or chunks of meat or whatever, you know, this is probably the only one, you know, that I actually found out that actually does have chunks of meat. It's all gelatinized too, which is kind of neat. So it's pretty dense packaging of um, the fish and, and the cat food. And let me clean off my spoon real fast. Dun, dun, dun. And nice and clean, so it doesn't look kind of messy. That uh, I am's delicacy one was really, really messy. Uh, but this one, scooping it up, ha, ah, my cat spoon. I actually engraved a cat face on my spoon. So this one has anchovies, so it looks really nice. So it is a tuna with anchovies, so majority of it's tuna, and then there's the anchovies. Like there's two or three or four anchovies in there usually. Usually about two anchovies. Let's put this down. Um, let's go ahead and wrap that off. And yeah, grain free. Of course it's grain free. It's just nothing but meat. Um, that's why I kind of like about the fussy cat one. It's pretty much all meat, which is really cool. So if I check this off, you know how they said. Um, Flakes of meat. This is really is flakes of meat versus that we're um, the IMS one, which is just basically feels like it's you know liquefied soup, and then the pate, which is basically well, it's pate that's ground up. So looking at the premium, the premium uh, fuzzy cat one, it is pretty much flakes of fish meat and anchovies and stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool, and the pricing is actually less, I think, than the IAMS one, which was really kind of interesting. So as a treat to my cats, I usually give this once like a, once every so often a week. So when, you know, when they, you know, when, after I play with them, I usually give them this. Uh, normally they get the pate and I'm trying out the IAMS and they just like drink it like soup. So I might just mix the IAMS with some, with like, like some other cat food and stuff so they could eat some, you know, more heart, more dry cat food, or mix it with the pate. For more flavoring, but flakes of meat on the um, on the fussy cat is really awesome. That's why I buy them by the case. Same thing for the pate. I buy that for the by the case as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the same for the other one. As you can compare, that one just looks like yeah soup, um, and the pate was pate. It's typical. But anywho, soup versus pate versus flakes and flakes of meat. So. Let's open up, let's see the soup a little more. Again, this review is because of the I Am's uh, canned food. I, after buying it, I felt so, I don't know, my cats felt like they were ripped off because <laughs> they came back from food. So density-wise, food density-wise, they didn't seem to get as much food in their plate. So they came back asking for more. So then I gave them some of the fussy cat stuff and they just gobbled that up. See, the fussy cat looks really flaky. The, it's actually chunks and chunks of meat and that ground up stuff. And you can see the anchovy right there. Um, they have several anchovies in here. Usually when you get the mussel one, they actually have some mussels ones and some clams or shrimp. They actually have the bits of them in the side. Uh, the pate, well, I think everyone's seen pate before. It looks like, you know, it almost looks like pate for spreading on bread or something else like that or what, your cheeses or other stuff. But compared to the soup one, the chunky soup stuff from the IAMS, yeah. So I think I'm gonna just stick with either, well, you know what, I'll let you decide. Which one do you think is better um, of all three? And if you 
bought these brands before. Do you agree with what I'm saying in terms of how the chunkiness is or the soupiness is of the IAMS one or the pate version of the, of the Friskus cat? You know, you know, our cats, we, we spend a lot on our cats and our pets. So let me know in the comments below, you know, which ones you bought before and what you thought about it, as well as you know, what you like me to see to review in the future in terms of cat food or cat stuff. Uh, I'll probably be reviewing more stuff. If you do like this stuff, let me know. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time in terms of other cat food or cat stuff or even dog stuff because I do have dogs too and cats. So it's all good. I mean, I'll probably, you know, review more of this pet food stuff because pets are kind of like our, you know, our lives. They're part of our family. So Anyways, that's really about it for that one. Again, the I Am Perfect Delicacy one with the flaked macro, really couldn't find it. I thought that was pretty funny. I really do love the Fussy Cat again with the anchovies as well as the other ones. My cats love all three of them, of course. And after you're done, I'm not going to waste this. I put some on their plate for them to eat, but at the same time, I could always pack them up with these caps. So I usually have a set of these um, cat food caps. So I put it back in the fridge so they're okay. So I usually give them little bit of each every time as a little treat so if you don't have these caps you can always use a baggie so I use a little baggie and uh, put in the can and basically just wrap the baggie back up over a van or something like that but that way it keeps it fresh either do that or use a you know some saran wrap or something but use a baggie or even a um, a uh, Tupperware will be fine coming up I'm gonna be doing a review on the automated RFID um, Peter, which is pretty cool. This we've been have we had this for about over three or four years already, and it's been pretty awesome. It basically stops other. Um, it does, it basically helps feeding the cats, and of course the reviews of other cat toys and stuff. Please look and subscribe and look for the other playlist for the cat for other uh, reviews on cat toys and stuff like that and other fun stuff. Also DIY and fixes and stuff that I have posted on my um, channel as well as well as you know. Um, Costco finds and other Costco hauls and stuff like that that I find at Costco that would be pretty interesting to watch if you're interested in finding out what's latest and greatest at Costco in products and product reviews. Anyways, thanks for watching guys.